so I'm going to let it do its thing and then I'm going to show you the end product. That is the end product with some on the plate. Uh, guys, I have been dealing with my lovely cat allergen for the last four or five days at this point, so uh, may or may not have spent the better part of the last week coughing like a lifelong smoker. So if I sound a bit hoarse in this video, well, you know why. YouTube cooking. It seems to be all I talk about on this channel anymore, and you know what? I'm okay with that. Because there will always be a new recipe for somebody to mess up, and well, today? That's exactly what happened. Now we all know and love Kay's cooking on this channel and recently a bunch of people sent me a video that she made titled Mushroom Soup. Now at first I was just like, okay, well it's just mushroom soup. Surely it couldn't have gone that poorly, right? Wrong! I, I was wrong. I don't know what exactly I was expecting from this mushroom soup video. I mean, I've watched Kay make soup before and it's never, never really turned out quite right. So I don't know why I had different expectations going into this one, especially when you guys were sending it to me, but for some reason I did. Not a good idea. Today we are about to witness an attempt at making mushroom soup like no other. An attempt so out there that at the end of this video there will not even be soup present. Yeah, this is the real deal guys. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be having a go at doing mushroom soup as it's getting colder outside now. Oh my god, um, uh, maybe making this video isn't such a good idea, guys. Oh my goodness. Kay, what happened before the recording of this video? Is everything okay at home? Kay, if you ever need anything, we are here to talk. As you can see, all the butter is melted. So now I'm going to put my frozen onions in, onions in and my little bit of jar of garlic. Not only is that a criminally small amount of onion to put into an entire soup, um, why- why is the- the garlic brown? How long has that garlic been sitting out, Kay? I really hope this is like a one-pan recipe for soup, otherwise this is, uh, a lot of butter for the amount of onions in this pan. I need to cut the mushrooms. Now you can see the mushrooms are getting I have been told not to wash, uh, wash them, but I always do. So I'm just cutting these up. They're very easy to cut up because they've been, well, because they, as you can see, look at all the water oozing out of them. I should never wash them. I am, uh, I I'm really quite confused on what's being said here. Uh, you should wash your mushrooms, just not with water. If they're wild, then you, then you definitely want to wash them, but you should always, like, wipe off your mushrooms, brush them off somehow, because there will be dirt on them. Um, and then, wh why are they so wet if you, if you didn't wash them, Kay? Why would there be water oozing out of them? And why are these mushrooms so particularly easy to cut? Are most mushrooms not? No, it says once the... Mushrooms are in the pan to let it cook for three minutes. So I'm going to let it cook for three minutes, which I don't think is long enough really for anything to cook. But I'm going to let it cook for three minutes and then I'm going to start adding the flour. Alright, yeah, fair enough. Gotta thicken it up a bit for a good soup. Um, there is definitely a limit to the thickness that you want to make stuff like this, though, and uh, we're gonna go way, way past that limit, alright? Right, it's at its three minutes, so I am now gonna add the flour. Ooh, it said a bit at a time, that went a bit, was it? Ooh, it seems to be... Thickening up, which it says it needs to do. Oh, I'll just put the rest of that in. Because it says it needs to be really thickening up. Um, yeah, okay. It, it's definitely thickening up. I don't know what exactly is thickening up. Are you making, like, a mushroom gumbo? I mean, I really feel like there is a glaring lack of liquid here for a soup. I mean, I looked up some mushroom soup recipes, and most of them called for, like, two to four tablespoons of flour, and she dumped in, like, 15. It's only gonna get worse, though, so, uh, don't get your hopes up. But yes... Pour a bit of a broth in. I'm not going to put it all in because it says it needs to just to 
says it needs to make it come together. Oh, that looks as though it's coming together for me. That looks a bit dark for me. It doesn't say anything about cream. But I'm going to add some cream to make it a bit more lighter. Is that a word? Lighter? Um, okay, I believe the word you're looking for is just lighter. Don't have to add the extra ER. Um, what, what recipe are you following, gang? Because, uh, this does not really seem to be working so far. I mean, most of that can probably be attributed to the fact that you dumped in, like, a cup of flour into this. But I feel like now is the time to start adding the broth. And I think that's another thing that's really gonna mess up this soup. You probably can't see, or you might be able to. I have put a bit of cream in. I didn't want I didn't want it pure white, so I've put a bit of cream in, which just gave it a little bit of colour, a bit more lighter. Um, I don't. I think I'll just add a little bit more broth because I don't want to add too much. Because it's got to go in the blender. Okay, my friend, there is not an amount of broth too high for the amount of flour you put into these mushrooms. You're good, okay? You've put like maybe, maybe a fourth of a cup of broth into this. You can afford a little bit more, okay? You can see I've got it all put in the blender. I know it looks a pretty mess how I tipped it in, but it's that song. So I, I'm going to put that on, I mean it's a very loud blender, well I say it's a loud one, not as loud as the other one, but I'm going to, I don't even know how to work, oh it's a press down here, so I'm just going to, well, press down and hopefully. Whoa, okay, uh, are we just, are we doing like a pre-blend or something? Just to get the ball moving before we add the liquid, uh, what's going on here? I mean, are we familiar with the concept of a smoothie? You usually put in milk or something to kind of, to get it liquidy. This is not going to turn into liquid, okay? Right, as you can see, I've got it all going. I don't know if you can hear me over the blender. As I did tell you, it was quite loud. Right, I'm going to press down on the bottom of it. Just needs to get the top of it. I don't think you can hear me above it. So I'm gonna let it do its thing and then I'm gonna show you the end product. Right, as you can see now, it's all, I think it's all come out. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna need a warning next time, okay? That is, that is not soup. No siree, that is, that is some messed up chocolate ice cream at best. Right, it's, well it's, got hot I would assume because I know on some on some uh, tins you just have to warm them up but it's like I'm cooking this again. If you are surprised about what you put on your stove becoming hot once, you know, you turn on the stove, then it might be time for a new stove. As to what's on your stove, K I. I don't know. And that is the end product with some on the plate going cold for me to try it. Now I'm going to try a bit. That's nice, that's really nice. Wow, okay, not not what I was expecting, Kay, not gonna lie. Because not only is this not soup, I am now starting to realize that there was no salt or pepper put into this, which, I mean, you're eating flour and mushrooms, so uh, it, can, it can only get so good, right? Not gonna lie, though, when it cut to the shot of the finished product, I had the hardest laugh I, I think I've had this entire year so far. I don't know if it's because my lungs aren't properly functioning right now, but I was laughing for, for about five five minutes not being able to catch my breath. That was comedic gold. Well, what do you guys think? Would you eat this mushroom soup? I mean, it probably just tastes like gritty, bland mushroom gravy. Like, at the end of the day, it's just flour and mushrooms, but it's also just flour and mushrooms, you know what I mean? Like, it can't really be that bad. At least there was some butter in it. Even with that being said, though, it would probably not be my first choice from Kay's Arsenal. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything, but for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.
Subscribe.